Welcome to another edition of Sound Advice. My name is Jeff and in this edition of Sound Advice what we're going to be talking about is how to properly place your studio monitors in your studio. So if this interests you please stay tuned as we get into how to place your studio monitors in your studio. Let's look at some um, diagrams that I've had to kind of show visual um, about speaker placement. Now, this first diagram is speakers that are not equal to each other. And this is the reason why, you know, you don't want your speakers to not be equal because you have this speaker here that the sound traveling is going to take a longer time to hit the ear at its uh, listening position than it will the speaker that's closer that's going to take a shorter time to hit the ear at the listening position. And this will definitely not give you a good image of what you're trying to hear. This will not help at all of your music translating in other environments okay so this next photo i mean or this next diagram i want to show is when you have your speakers now they're equal but they're not facing towards your ear okay they're uh, you have where the direct signal is shooting past you, okay? And all you're getting is pretty much cross reflections that will come across, bounce, and hit your ears. And that's where you um getting your sound, which will be false, okay? It won't give you a good representation of what's going on. And you have the direct signal that you're not hearing at all so having your speakers face like this is not a good thing either so let's look at a diagram where the speakers are properly placed and this is right here so you see how the speakers they're equally distanced and they're angled 45 degrees in <clears throat> so you have them going 45 degrees in and you have the sound hitting your ears at the same time. Okay, so at your listening position, now you're getting the optimal, uh, you, you know, you're getting the best uh, direct signal that's coming from uh, the speakers. Okay, so this is why we want to have our, our, our speakers looking like this diagram. Okay, now... Uh, that we know that let's dive a little bit into the equilateral triangle okay now with this equilateral triangle what we want to do is have our speakers being equal to the ears okay so and you want your speakers to be equal so if we have five feet of space between the speakers okay we need five feet with space between speakers and the right ear, five feet of space between the speakers and the left ear. And you have where the sound is hitting your listening position at the same time, okay? And this is the purpose for the equilateral triangle to help you to position your speakers at the right distance, okay? So what you gotta do is you have to measure out how far your speakers are from each other, okay? Then angle them in about 45 degree degrees and then measure your uh, one speaker to the left ear and then the other speaker to the right ear, okay? So this is what's going to help you have that equal distance from speakers from speaker to speaker, 
and then speaker to ear. OK, so this is the proper way to place your speakers. Now, if you have some other kind of special monitors that, you know, make sure you read the manual that says, you know, you don't really want that 45 degree turn in, you know, it's best to keep them. Uh, a certain way or maybe it, it says only do like a 25 degree you know uh, angle to the ear or something like that so check your manual and make sure uh, what the manual is saying because sometimes that could lead to uh, phase issues if you have them turned in too much or something like that I mean it could be on their specs so but if, if the if the manual doesn't say anything about it then just, you know, 45 degree angle turn in to, to your ear. And also you just want to have the speaker, the tweeter, the tweeter. You want the tweeter to be ear level. OK, because that's what we want to hear. Um, you know, that direct signal is where the tweeter um, you know, especially if you have like a two two way monitor, you want that tweeter to be ear level. OK, you don't have to worry about the sub part of it. So if you have like a five inch, six inch, seven inch, eight inch, you know, that that's the sub part of it. You don't have to worry about that. OK, because the sub part is omnidirectional that it the 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 base carries everywhere. OK, but your tweeter is directional that is only going to go in one direction and you want that to hit your ears okay so that's why you want to be ear level for it with the tweeter okay so you may need to get somebody to help you to measure especially when you're sitting in your listening position you may need somebody to help you to get the the correct distance and you may need somebody to help you to get the correct level OK, so if uh, if at all possible, if your room allows uh, one thing that I recommend, you put your speakers on on stands on a, a studio stands. OK, now, if you have kind of like a desk and, you know, you got plenty of room to keep them on the desk, that's that's fine as well. But the reason why I really recommend stands is because you can adjust the stand level to to be ear level you know so that's why i recommend stands but um but like i said if you have them sitting on your desk uh you may have to use your chair to get that ear level you know setting your chair at a certain position to get to get it at ear level so that's the um whole purpose of the equilateral triangle to be able to get an uh, equal distance from speaker to speaker and from speaker to the ears okay so hopefully this was helpful we're going to go back uh up to the black chair and we're going to uh close this out okay so we have discussed uh everything about how to place your uh speakers and what's the proper way to do it you know using the equilateral triangle is the the best way to be able to make sure that your speakers are at the correct distance and then from your speakers to your ears are at the correct distance one thing that i just want to stress is that it doesn't matter if you have uh monitors that are uh on the higher end from monitors that are affordable uh it doesn't matter the the this technique is a must if you're trying to hear the direct signal that comes from your monitors so that you won't be bogged down in hearing false representations because of because you can't hear those those frequencies that you need to hear from frequencies that you don't need to hear so we want to have at our listening position the best way to hear those uh, frequencies that direct signal you know so this is a technique that you, you just need to do you know uh, if you're trying to have your music to translate from one place to another place you know especially 
you know, from your studio to your car. You know what I'm saying? Or for a client, you're going to send an MP3. You don't know where they're listening to it at. And they need to have a good representation of what you were able to do to the mix. And the only way to do that is getting the position of your speakers correct. So hopefully this was uh, in helpful, uh, that this was insightful, that uh, that it encouraged you to go ahead and do this uh, this kind of technique of, of the equilateral triangle to get your speakers uh, sitting in the proper position for you to be able to hear correctly. So hopefully this uh, gave a clear and a good understanding of that, you know, because I, I just want you to know that it's not that secret plug-in. This, what we're doing right now, what we're talking about, this is what's going to help you to get your signature sound. You know, having the correct speaker placement. So, uh, hopefully this was enjoyable. And if it was, please hit that like button. And then if you really like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you just want to keep up to with the content that I'm going to be doing on this channel, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. And once again, this is Sound Advice. My name is Jeff, and I'll see you on the next one.